back like we never left. SV here with the live reaction to Swordmaster's youngest son. This week, reading chapter 67 and 69. So let's get it. Swordmaster chapter 67. Let's go. A rune Kendall provisional flag bearer? Right, we left off. The people heard our boy Jin might pull up. Huh? Why would a rune Kendall be in a place like this? I heard while having a drink with the Cosmos pirate executive. Wow. He ratted him out. Crazy. He said there's an impressive boy among the contestants, and it wouldn't make sense if he wasn't Arun Kendall. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Huh? If that's true, then it'll either be Daytona, Haytona, or Jin Arun Kendall. Wow, they fucking know. <laughs> if it's Jin Arun Kendall, it would be insane. Remember when people were going crazy over how he reached five stars at such a young age? Is this the fame of the Rune Kendells? I get why they would know me, but to think they would know the Tona twins by name as well. And Tona's haven't even done shit yet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tona's ain't done nothing yet, and they know about him, about them. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> well, it's about time that the Tona twins start to make a name, their names known. If they are really participating, I'll find them and make them take the night watch. And we see old boy Cosmo grinning with the gold ass teeth. Fireworks going. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen who have come to the arena, surely you're not tired of just waiting just yet, are you? I am the Pirate King Cosmos. Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo. Yeah, 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 yeah. To think so many of you would come this year as well. I don't know what to do. I'll stop the idle chatter. Oh, gold teeth, Roger. <laughs> I'll stop the idle chatter and get into it straight away. 14 participants in each group. 13 groups to form a total of 182 combatants, Cosmo Wanda. <laughs> and among them, the main character of the glorious first match. Reaching the round of 16 last year, the cutie of the shark pirates. Mentis. Let me see, old boy walks out, skinny old boy with the hooks. And his opponent, participating in the for the first time this year, what is he hiding behind his pretty face? The boy swordsman, Paul Mick. Paul Mick. What? He's a little brat. I did hear that there were a lot of young guys this time around, but that's a bit... 13? 14? I'd have... Damn, bro, that's crazy. He's a cutie? Yeah, he, I think ugly as hell, bro. You have you have to be insane to let such a young kid participate. Wait, a young kid? There's another there's another one like you. Not you. Not you, but another one who beat up the captain. Damn, and we see old boy tall as hell compared to our boy Paul, bro. Right then, the match will start now. Let me see these two. Bro, as soon as old boy Cosmo says now, Paul unsheaths the sword and ching just cuts old boy's head off. No problems. Excuse me, bro? What are we talking about, bro? That's crazy, bro. Head in the wind. Boom. Done. W what the... What just happened? Did anyone see that clearly? Ah. Ah. Those shark bastards are gonna annoy me now. Why they... Won't they? His head just fell off. That doesn't make sense. 
in an instant, he used his sword to slam off his head. Crazy, bro. Yo, exactly. And that guy was a round 16 contender, bro. One tapped. Exactly. That's fucking insane. So that bastard is Dante Hyran. Yup, he's under a fake name. Dante Hyran. Mm. The match ended an instant. The winner is Paul Mick. Ah! This is a fight. It's a fight. It's Paul Mick. I bet everything I, I have left on Paul Mick. I'm dead. Let's get it. Da no. Paul Mick. Paul Mick. Paul Mick. Bro. Baradin Zipfell? What the fuck is he doing here, bro? Why is that bastard here? Paul Mick. Paul Mick. Paul Mick. What's he doing here, bro? Fine. I'll bet on him as well. I We just need to bet on Paul Mick, right? Can you not tell from just seeing that? Paul Mick is the future. Sell your house and bet on him. And just what mission is this guy on? I th Though it looks like he's having a bit too much fun to be on a mission. Yeah, he almost called him his real name, exactly. Get, I'm screwed if I get caught. Let's just let let's just quietly lie low. Let me see, huh? Huh? What's this? Oi! Hey you! Why are you here? Hey, long time no see. Huh? He's buried in Zipfell. I have only seen him once, and that and that was the last. I was at the last Zipfell banquet. To think he'd greet me so warmly in an unfamiliar place like this. I'm happy to see him too, Baradin. You see, oi! They're fucking all waving, laughing, and June's just like, oi, vey. Oh god, these three hooligans. Oi now! We'll listen to the winner's thoughts and then move on to the next match. Paul Mick, how are you feeling? Ah. <clears throat> I'm feeling pleased to have removed yet another evil from this world in this way. And I hope that in his next life, he won't become pirate scum again. <laughs> Cosmos laughs. As expected, being a pirate is not something I would recommend to young kids. But won't that make all the pirate grown-ups here a bit sad? Geekie <laughs> This is fun. Kiddo, do your best. Besides, the pirates you addressed just now will be very happy to greet you. <laughs> Cosmo throws his hat in the air. Fucking sun beaming off his fucking bald head. Now then, we'll move on to the next match. Bring in the contestants. Damn. I watched the match that took place after that, but there was nothing notable other than Paul Mick. As expected, Paul Mick is Dante Hiran. He looked young, but that swordsmanship, there's no there's no other explanation for it. Hmm? Can I beat him, he says. If I can use my magic and my spiritual energy, then maybe. But I can't I just but I can't be certain with just my swordsmanship. Yeah, saying that in the pirate den is, is definitely arrogant as hell. Well, it's still too early to tell. I heard that starting tomorrow, there'll be three or four group matches per day, which means that I'll be up in four days. If that's the case, then until then, I'll have to endure the nights in this place. Ooh, and we see he's walking. I think that's Dante. Yup. Oh, and he looks beat up, bro. He's in here fighting. Oh, shit. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Ching. Oh, okay. 
I didn't give I didn't give that to you so you could play with it. You see, Baradun. It is an item that that you will use when you truly need it, young master. So I suggest that you keep it in somewhere safe. My apologies, but I am more comfortable if I have it with me. Is this why you called? Is this why you called for me? He says. Damn. There's a tournament held around this time this time every year on an island in the south of the Belago Archipelago. Have you heard of the Cosmos Arena? Huh? No, 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 not at all. Oh my, a competition held by pirates. How would I know of a place like that? <laughs> nah, uh, of course not. I don't know anything. I was wondering why he kept running off to where you kept running off to around this time of year. <laughs> <clears throat> Dante Hiran, the successor of the Hiran clan who came to last year's banquet. It seems like he's participating this time. Go and see. Take this opportunity to see it with your own eyes. See how strong of an opponent he is as you will need to defeat him someday. Is what he said. That's why I'm here. It's nice that I got some money too, but... How how can there not be even a single entertaining fight for two days? It's nice that I was able to see Dante's skills, but the others are all trash. Didn't he enjoy them all? Shh. <laughs> ah, this year's competition is a real bummer. Where are the skilled ones? Huh? Jin? Jin Gray? What? Is this who I think it is? So he hasn't really just, so he wasn't really just here to watch the match. Well, I can't wait for this. And we see, I like how Baradin hasn't revealed that Jin is here, you know? I thought he was going to be some stupid shit and reveal it, but he hasn't, which I love, you know? King, whew. There are 147 people left in the arena. 35 have already died. Whew. Only five of them died before from battle. The others died outside the arena. The other group contenders are going to appear soon. I can't let my guard down for even a second. There's no way of knowing what will happen if I sleep. I did get insomnia training during my cadet years, but this is the first time I haven't slept for four days. Mmm. So he hears something and he gets up instantly. To approach me so boldly without erasing their presence in a quiet place like this. Looks like they've got some balls. W wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see it's fucking it's fucking Yante, bro. I apologize for the request, for the request on our first meeting, but can we have a small chat? Paul, no, Dante Hiran. Let me get some sleep. If you let me sleep, then I'll guard you tomorrow so you can sleep as well. Oi, what are you talking about all of a sudden? I've been watching you since yesterday, and you seem like a real knight unlike the others. So please, let me sleep so, and boom, nigga passes out. Passes out, bruv. I can't believe it. Does the high, does the high rent clan not do any insomnia training of some sort? The smell of blood is so thick. It seems he's been through a lot. Moreover, ching. Wait. I'll give you the signal. Oh, there's some more niggas pulling up on Dante. But as that happens, we see Jin fucking walk out the cell like, bro, what are y'all doing here? D D King cuts him down. Die. Haven't you heard the rumor? Anyone who comes to this room will die. W wait, I know you. You're, you're Jin Grey. 
You're the one who killed everyone in group 13 all on your own. Yup. Just calm down and listen. We're not here to attack you. If you just hand over Paul Mick, who just went inside. Oh, and we see as he's talking, some guy fires. Pew! Fires a, a crossbow bolt at Jin. Jin ping blocks it, no problem. Poison. Huh. So poison. He just fucking caught the fucking the, the crossbow bolt, bro. Just ching, caught that shit. Huh. So poison, huh? To think that you go to such an extent to attack a kid. I don't know who you're working for. But. Can you handle it? Paul Mick. Huh! Paul Mick wakes up. Ah. The people who came after you. They're underlings of a pirate named One-Eyed Joe. A guy, a guy who told me before he died that it was their plan to kidnap, or to kidnap Arun Kendall and get a whole lot of money. So, so you protected me, even though I was no one to you. Thank you so much. However, Arun Kendall, how absurd. How could it take me for one of those outrageous people. Ah, look at my manners. Since you are my savior, I must explain. As expected, I am a noble, though I'm not a Rune Kendall. Just know I'm a noble from the Vermont Empire. I'm sorry I can't tell you the details. And Jin just shakes his head, he just nods, all right, whatever. Thank you for understanding. I owe you my life. I don't know how to repay this debt, an eye for an eye, a life for a life. From now on, whenever you're in danger, whatever the situation may be, I will protect you with my life. I swear by my name. And Jin looks on like, all right, bro. All right. Hmm. Do whatever you want. I'm going to sleep now, so protect me. Wake me up, wake me up before the group 13 match starts. Understood. Ah, and me protecting you right now is so, is, is unrelated to my solemn oath. So you don't need to worry. And he's, Jin is already snoozing, bro. He may look cold on the outside, but he fought for me when we just met. It looks like I met a good friend. Aw, cute. I don't know if they're going to be friends, but that's very cute, though. Yeah! And we'll see. Again. Ching! Man cuts him down. No problem. Shh. The winner is Paul Mick. Once again, he finished his opponent with one strike. Paul Mick. Paul Mick. Paul Mick. He ching. Gets the blood off of his sword. The winner is another one of the sh our strongest men. It's Jin Gray. Jin, 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 Jin. This Jin fella is incredible too. Maybe he's stronger than Paul Mick? Come on. It'd still be hard to take down a Rune Kendall provisional flag bearer. I'm not a Rune Kendall. <laughs> I guess they'll be as much as friends as Baradin. Okay, I guess that's true. Yeah, I guess that's that's fair. That's fair. As much as they are friends with Baradin, I could see that being being the the way they do it. You know. Jin, 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 Jin. This year's arena finalists are those two kids. This year is a bummer because of those youngsters. Are they going to stand there and do nothing? Even though they've got some skills, it's just the two of them. If we gather up the others and attack them, because before the preliminary to start, we can. I wouldn't do it. You guys won't be able to do anything to them. Jin Gray's got another name for himself. The Reaper. Stop it. That's hard. Jin Gray's got another name for himself. The Reaper. You know goddamn well why he's called that name. Plus, 
Those two are using the same cell. You think you got a chance? I'm I'm preventing you from killing yourselves since you guys are quite popular. It's a pain in the ass if you guys die before the game even starts, you see. Guess there's no choice, huh? I'm done here. What? Let's make a plan and get the hell out of here. That's for the that's that's for the best of us. Luckily, we won't be meeting those guys. I looked at the list. Yeah. I don't want to die here either. All right. Only we know about this. Don't let Cosmos know about our plan. And obviously, old boy is out there listening, bro. You think he going to tell Cosmo? Like, y'all yeah, niggas is dumb. Y'all are dumb. Like, he warned you guys. He walks out. And he don't think he's not going to hear you guys talking? You're stupid, bro. Yeah, those ungrateful bastards. Manipulate the match. So you're saying that they're plot they're plotting something behind my back, huh? What should we do? The competition will get boring. Even the audience will be able to notice it. You know what? Fuck it. Change the whole tournament tree. We just need Jin Gray and Paul Mick to meet in the finals anyway. We'll just sacrifice some of those losers to those kids. To get them in the finals. I'm dead. Also. Raise the rest of the dividend rate to the highest. Except for those two. I'm weak. They won't be able to stop themselves from betting. Now. Everything is going to go smoothly from the preliminaries to the finals. Let's make some money. One one of them is a supernova who shocked us all in the first match. The other one is the Reaper who smelt the blood before the whole thing started in the first place. Who do you think will win between those two? It will be Paul Mick. I think so as well. Paul Mick's swordsmanship is sharper than Jin Gray's. Did you bet on Paul Mick as well, young master? Me? I bet on Jin Gray. About a hundred thousand. Whoa, hundred k gold, bro. What? Young Master Jin, Young Master Jin Gray's odds are three to one. Even if Jin Gray wins, I don't think such a pirate would have three hundred k gold. Nope. That Cosmo, that Cosmo guy, is a richer pirate than we thought. If he sells some of his islands, then. Thank you for waiting. We see Gold Teeth Roger. Ladies and gents, I, Pirate King Cosmo. Even with that. Enough with that. Hurry up already. We see he gets, boom, hit with a fucking mug. Bring out Paul Mick, Jin Gray. Where Jin Gray, the group, the Reaper of Group 13. Those stupid noble bastards. I'm going to double the entrance fee starting next year. <clears throat> then enough with the boring talk let's call them out paul mick ah! paul mick walks out we can clean with it clean with it his opponent the reaper of group 13 the mysterious teenage swordsman jin gray I believe in you, Jin Gray. I bet everything on you, Jin Gray. Let's go! You see Barrett in there, in the back. <laughs> where, where do you want me to go, dimwit? And we see, now. Mm. Now, Ben, without further ado, let the game begin! And we see, they all square each other up. We see old boy Paul Mick, hand on the sheath. Same thing with Jin, hand on the hilt. Ready. Oh, shit. They all look at each other and he, pew, one second goes by and we see Paul Mick gone. Speed blitz, gone. Yo. 
gone. And all you see is the fucking sword rushing towards Jin's face, bro. And he was ching able to fucking block that shit, bro. I knew it. A trick like this won't work on you. If that's so, I'll fight you properly. Oh, shit. And we see he, like, has sword above his head, and he has some fucking, like, aura on the tip of the sword, bro. And we see Jin, same thing, with the blue aura again. Give me your all! We see these two. Boom! Giant clash. Fuck. Swordmaster chapter 69 and damn bruh Shit man This I, the fucking fight between these two is what we wanted bro the finals we knew it was gonna happen We knew it was gonna be Dante Hiran versus Jin We knew it was gonna happen so the ending of this clash is about to go crazy bro Cause I, I, I don't know They pretty even bro In terms of straight swordsmanship Paul Mick Dante might even be A little bit above In terms of straight swordsmanship bro So it's gonna be interesting But If you made it to the end Of the live reaction I appreciate y'all so much If you enjoyed Don't forget to drop a like On the video It helped the boy out Also drop a sub I'm on the road to 1k So a sub would really Help out the channel So I'm gonna see y'all next time Stay safe Out in these streets And I'm gonna see y'all soon Peace.